everyone my name is sakshi kushwaha and welcome back to yet another video on machine learning and deep learning tutorials so in the previous video we have discussed how to split our data into training set and testing set so from this video we are going to learn uh, how to make our model or how to select our algorithm okay so firstly i want to tell you what are the main important steps for uh, building a model okay so i have a no i have some notes like these are some notes yeah so for modeling for making a model there are eight steps uh, or more than eight steps okay so yeah we can only consider eight steps okay so what is the first step first step is import the library as i already told you our, where is our notebook this is our collab notebook so uh, the first step is import the libraries okay so i i am going to connect it yeah the first step is import the necessary libraries so here so here only we want to uh, read the data so only uh, we import panda library here okay and the second step is import the data so it means uh, second step is read the data set so wherever the data set is present you can read it okay so yeah it gives error because a uh, file is not present here so firstly i have to upload the file and for uploading the file uh, we have to click here and then uh, yeah i yeah yeah now uh, the file is uploaded successfully and now we uh, ra again run this cell then it successfully uh, run okay yeah and the third uh, sec first step is import the library second step is import the data it means read the data set and the third step is x and y so here we can use this fu these functions some of the important function to visualize the data how the data how the data appears so df dot head is a function it gives uh, it gives the top four row okay uh, top five row uh, but zero to four index okay df dot info gives all the information and the df dot is a describe function gives uh, the discrimination of the data set okay and now the third step is uh, define x and y okay define target and features as we do already here define target and features so for uh, define target and features firstly we uh, we got what the number of columns or the name of columns so here we define y is a level level attribute is a target we want to find the level of the cancer prediction whether the chances of cancer is uh, low medium or high our features are all these patient id age gender air pollution all these are the features means uh, target is dependent on these features okay and the fourth step is a uh, train test and split apply this function train test and split this is from sklearn library sklearn means scikit learn library okay now discuss what is the step 5 so for uh, making uh, uh, step 5 you have to identify the problem either the problem is regression problem or uh, it is a classification problem okay so let's discuss the problem we have to identify here uh, we have to identify the stage of stage of cancer uh, whether uh, with whether it is low medium medium or high so you uh, like when you see your data set which is this uh, yeah cancer patient data sets when you see this data set then uh, you yeah you see here level is in the three categories low medium or high low medium or high these three categories so what is it it is classified it is a classification problem right because there are not a continuous number for regression problem as we know a regression problem contains a continuous number numerical value but here it is 0 1 2 category means it, either it is 0 either it is low either it is medium it means 1 or either it is 2 okay so it is in three categories so it is not a binary classification 
because binary classification only have two categories it is a multi classification problem okay because it has more than two categories so that's why uh, it, it is a multi classification problem so for a classification problem now we are know about what is uh, what is a type of problem either it is a classification or multi or regressions so you just write classification problem prob problem okay yeah we have to identify the stages of cancer whether it is low medium or high so it is a classification problem okay so the uh, then the uh, fifth step is select the model okay so uh, there are select the model means the uh, algorithm so if the problem is regression then you can apply linear regression so what is the algorithm for linear regression uh, like linear regression is the algorithm if your problem is a regression problem then you apply the linear regression so there is a random forest there is a svm nav wise these all are the algorithm so if your problem is a linear regression then you have to just write from sklearn uh, from sklearn it means this is a library and from linear model this means module name import linear regression it is a algorithm name then you have to just write these two lines from sklearn dot linear model import linear regression and linear regression and if it is a yeah if you want to apply not apply uh, if you don't want to apply linear linear model then you have to just use uh, k neighbors algorithm so you have to just write from sklearn dot neighbors import k neighbors regression regression okay if you want to uh, apply decision tree algorithm then you have to write only these two lines if you are going to apply random forest algorithm then you have to write these two lines so there are many algorithms you can apply if by your choice okay so, so as we see this is a classification problem for so what we have to write uh, from sklearn uh, yeah sklearn dot linear model import logistic regression okay because linear regression is used for regression problem but logistic regression is used for classification problem so that's why we use logistic regression and just write it here logistic regression okay and uh, one parameter you have to pass here item i am just passing 1000 item uh, 10000 item here so uh, later on i will tell you what is the parameter this parameter is only passed in, in the type of classification problem in the regression problem you don't have to pass anything it the function becomes uh, remains empty okay so when i think it yeah so now run this uh, line yeah it successfully run so step 5 is what choose the model model or algorithm okay so this is a step 5 there are a lot of algorithms you have to just google it uh, let's first discuss what are those steps the, the sixth step is training the data so okay the, uh, the sixth step is training the data so how to, uh, to train our data we are already we have already x train and y train so the sixth step is training the data okay and the seventh step is predict the model if uh, first if our uh, data is trained then you have to test the model and predict the model okay so testing and prediction is uh, done uh, testing and prediction is done here only and the eighth step is check the accuracy of the model and now here's your uh, model is completed and your machine learning model is built you can use it now okay so all these eight steps are necessary in every problem either it is a image either it is in the data set is image data set or any other data set these all eight steps are very necessary okay till this video we are just discussed how to choose our algorithm how to select our model and in the next video we uh, we have a detailed discussion on step six 
uh, in the training our model so for training uh, the model you have to just write this function uh, we can discuss de in detail in the next video till then take care bye bye and do your best okay